Welcome back, you beautiful people. I hope you're doing fantastic because I'm doing good. We made the playoffs. That's right. We are back on NHL 22 with our Alexander Ovechkin Road to the Goat series. And today, we're starting the playoffs. Playoffs? Yes, playoffs. 95 points for our man of the hour, Alex Ovechkin. 52 goal season. Potentially a little bit of a rocket. Actually, we're going to find out right now. Did my man's Alex Ovechkin win the rocket richard everybody should be right about done or very close to it mitch marner shout out mitch marner for leading the whole league in points interesting and nope it's gonna be austin matthews who just ran away with the rocket this year my goodness this man went on a tear but you know what alexander ovechkin still doing it at 55 years old or whatever the hell he is right now that's disrespectful ovechkin's not that old but you know what i'm saying man ovechkin latter stages of his career still doing it still challenging for the rocket 50 goal scored because that's what he does and let's get to the Stanley Cup playoffs. Our first round opponent is going to be the Montreal Canadiens. Now, I don't know exactly what you want out of me for this. Like, how much do we simulate these playoffs? How many games do we play? I think I'm just going to play the important games. Okay, like one, five, maybe seven. You know, th that type of thing. I want to play the important games. I want to help Alexander Ovechkin challenge for a potential Stanley Cup. And hopefully you are on board for the ride. So, Let's go. Let's just take a look at our lines because I feel like we have some really good lines. You see, we are doing well at forward. Everybody seems to be pretty much healthy at forward. Daniel Sprong is going to be on our second line, which is, you know, our, our left wing spot after Ovechkin is a little bit weak. But still, Sprong is is pretty decent. And Sheary had himself a season 25 goals for Connor Sheary because we have Tom Wilson over there on the third line, which uh, I might think about doing this. Nah, we're going to keep Tom Wilson on the third line. This is going to be a really annoying line to play against. Okay, so let's look at the defense. Our defense, we have Schultz, Carlson, we have Taze, Orlov, and then Kempney and our boy Jensen. And that, on its own, is a pretty decent defense core. Maybe not, like, all world beating. Like, it's not no Tampa defense core, but it's still a very good defense core. And then... You have to consider that Ryan Murray may come back at some point. We don't know how long his injury is because there's no injury report in this game. Yeah, there is absolutely none. But should Ryan Murray come back and we don't pick up more injuries, this is going to be a really, really good defense score. So we're relatively healthy here to start the playoffs. Only one defenseman down. So I'm glad I made that trade for Devon Taves towards the end of the season at the trade deadline. And our goaltender is Elias M. Sonal is going to start with Phoenix Copley. As far as the Montreal Canadiens go, here is what we can expect out of them on paper. They have Gallagher, who was their leading scorer. They have some good players here because their ratings haven't been dropped. This is not the most up-to-date roster of all time. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. They Petrie's at 85. They still have Weber, who's there. Yeah, so the Montreal Canadiens are kind of OP considering what they actually are in real life like this is definitely an older roster and you can tell but it is what it is and i'm expecting carry price yes carry oh carry's injured so it's gonna be jake allen between the pipes at least for now here we are trying to add to that banner right there in the rafters first round of the playoffs montreal canadians is the opponent verizon center is the venue let's drop the puck for our road to the goat series here I'm excited, man. Playoff hockey. And it's getting close in real life as well. So, you know, it's it's kind of giving us a little pre-taste of what we can expect here, hopefully. In the, oh, oh, here we go. Come on, come on. In the playoffs. Oh, I almost got it. Almost had that puck, and I would have been a breakaway. And you know I don't miss on breakaways, right? You know that doesn't happen. Huge save by Sam Sonoff early in the game. Ovechkin season. We're going to grab the puck. We're going to move it. We're going to just, yep, that is a very Ovechkin-like play right there, and that's what we're striving to do. We're going to move that towards the middle of the ice, though, and that's a great pass, but Jake Allen's going to stop the puck. We're going to go boom to the middle of the ice, and we're going to gain center ice. Oh, that is a huge save by Jake Allen. He's been good early. Another shot, this one wide. We're going to try to drive the net a little bit. Connor Sheary, you know, maybe not the greatest net front presence in the league, but we want to, oh, we want to make the appropriate plays. That's a huge save by Jake Allen here. The Capitals have kind of been all over the Canadians here early in the first period, and if we can keep this up, I think we're going to be in really good shape. Here comes Mike Hoffman for the Habs down the wing. He stick handles. He loses the puck. A little bit too much stick handling right there, Michael. And we're going back up the ice. Oh, we're going to drive and score. What a feed to the middle of the ice. And the Capitals have the season, or not the season, but the series opener here 
Carl Haglin. Probably not the man you expected to see the first goal out of, but it's playoffs, baby. That's kind of what happens, man. Some unsung heroes will rise. And Carl Haglin looking to be that for the Capitals. So we have a one to nothing lead. We are going to retrieve the puck here. Ovechkin has to move the puck, and we do. And we're going to beat the trailer here, which is dangerous for the Habs because if a good drop pass happens and Ovechkin has a shooting lane, he will absolutely catapult that to your net into the corner. Can we poke this off of him? That would be fantastic. Yes, we can. Okay, at the point. Nope, we're here. Oh, my poke check misses, and they score! Montreal answers almost immediately, and the game is even. Drake Kajula, really? Really? It had to be Drake Kajula? Why is it always former Oilers that hurt me? And Jeff Petrie is 100% getting like a hat trick game at some point in this series, I promise you. We're going to have a defensive zone face-off with the first line out here just because, yeah, exactly for this reason, Alexander Ovechkin on a whole breakaway forehand deke scores! Alexander Ovechkin, that's our first of the playoffs, and we regain the lead. That's a pretty fast-paced first period for both teams here. Lots of goal scoring, some, some high event hockey happening. You know we are allowing, oh, another huge chance, but a monstrous stop. Pad save by Samsonov. He's going to keep us ahead here. I thought we allowed a goal for sure, but we're going to move this up with Ovechkin. Oh, she has it. We're going to try to sneak in there and see if we can get a one-timer, but that's a big no. And it's going to be uncalled. Oh, oh, right to the middle and a monster save. Jake Allen. So both goaltenders try to, yeah, like, this is a very high event game. Third line shift for the Capitals. Just shout out to Tyson Jost for being one of our deadline acquisitions. I really like Tyson Jost. Uh, I, I, it's one of those, he's one of those players where he does really well in a video game, and so I kind of like him in real life. You know what I mean? Like, let me know if you have players like that where they do something really well in, in the video game for you so you like them a little bit more in real life or the opposite you know they suck for you in a video game and you're like man i i kind of dislike you in real life as well completely irrationally but still it is a fact it's like ben bishop you know at, at some point you would just see him in in real life and you would be like can you please fuck off ben because it, it just got annoying it got annoying to see ben bishop always in uh in hut one of the greatest hut goalies of all time oh please score that oh what a save jake allen and milan lucic was an absolute menace too in uh, in some older games like especially nhl 13 all you needed was like a big dude and big dudes could like really crush people and if you got that and somebody with just enough speed to get your ass open, you could absolutely snipe all day with Milan Lucic. And he would just crush people physically. So, so he was one of those players where you're like, yeah, I would like him on my team, please, and thank you. Oh, that's a good pass to Alexander Ovechkin. We're going to, ooh, that was a dart. But it's going to be just wide, unfortunately. Sometimes, man, when you, when you put that much power on the shot, it's a little difficult to know exactly where it's going, and that's what happened right there as we go D to D, and then back to Ovi. We're gonna shoot it. We're gonna we're gonna go for a whole spin out here as we get hit by a would-be shot blocker. We need to get back on side. I'm sorry, kind of gonna get pinched off a little bit, which happens. Oh, give me this. Give me this. Oh no, that's a bad turnover. Ooh, that's a good shot block and another huge save. Look at Samsonov. Ovechkin, yes sir, he's open. We're gonna dangle back to the inside and we're gonna try to get a shot off, but we kind of ran out of room here. I over dangled it, definitely over stick handled, and we drew a penalty. Oh yes, sir, that is exactly what daddy likes to see. Drop it, yes, appreciate it. We are going to that was a good shot. We're gonna stop up here for one quick second and then we're gonna move it. No, no, no. Give me a sec. Guys, why? Why do we have everybody on the... That's so stupid. That was probably my favorite part about 2K is that the special teams actually look like special teams because both the offensive and defensive special teams actually knew what they were doing. Just win the face off. I'm gonna slide over to the left and then feed it. Feed it to the big daddy. Please? Yes, one timer, huge save. Okay, okay. So that power play was a whole lot of absolutely nothing. We got one decent shot, I guess, with Ovi. It wasn't even that great either. Like it wasn't. We didn't make the goaltenders move enough, so the Capitals still remain only up to one. Works out. Works out. We still have the puck. Then we're gonna move it back to him. It leads to a chance, but it's blocked by the Habs defense. Another one. This one's missed wider than it. Not ideal. Late in the second period. Can we get one? Oh, the dangles, the spin move. But we got bumped overly so, and the refs agree we are going to have a power play late in the second period. Joel Edmondson going back to the box, and now we have a power play to open the third period of game one. Can we extend this lead, make it a 3-1 to one lead? That would be beautiful. That is literally all that you could possibly ask for. We have the opportunity. Let's see if we can take advantage of it. All right, it's going to be dumped in by the Habs. 
few passes later. Ovechkin's got it. We're going to stop up and pass it back at the point. Oh, here we go. Here we go. They tried. They tried to feed me with the with the one-timer, which I respect, and that's that's our strategy. You know, we got to get Ovechkin the one-timer. You know how we do. You know how we do with the Capitals, baby. That's a good shot from the point, though. And yeah, Ovechkin usually starts at the point, and then he finds his way to his office. But the thing is, if I do that, then I have to change my position lock on private plays, and I don't really want to do that. It would be kind of, you know, it would be kind of redundant. redundant. Ovechkin with a bit of a rush opportunity. We are going to shoot that. Oh, I think that was going in if it wasn't blocked, but it was. Win the face off neck A so that I can get this one to... Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Stop. Stop. Just make the, sh make the pass. Please give Ovechkin the one time. One time. Just one time. Go, go there. Yeah. You give me the puck, and I can move it back to the point. And that's it. Okay, fair enough. So we're here. That shot's going to go wide. I'm just going to try to pivot. Another one-timer. This one from the point. And that was stopped again by Allen. He's had a decent game here. We're probably at like 24, 25 shots by now. And Jake Allen still only allowed two goals, which is, you know, over 900 save percentage. And his team is kind of getting caved in. But it's fun, though. Post power play. First line shift still out here. Oh, that's a humongous save. Ovechkin's damn near going to play half the, the third period here. Because that's just, uh-oh, uh uh-oh, not ideal, not ideal. But we are going to get the puck back. Oh, let's let's cut the middle. Yep, there you go. Really good defensive play by Ovi. You don't see that every day, but you know what? Today is that day. And here we go on the drop option. A one-timer and a huge save. Jake Allen saving the game for the Habs right now. Like He's their MVP. They are getting absolutely caved in. And their goaltending is keeping them in it. it hurt. Stop me if you heard that before, though. That you know, here comes Cole Caulfield. He's been tearing it up in real life as of late, man. It's funny when you give a shooter the chance to shoot. It turns out that they can score more. Like my goodness, just the kid's good at shooting. Oh, what a passing play! That was awesome. And Nick Backstrom is gonna give us that insurance marker. And here we are. Now it's all about shutting the game down. And yeah, you know what? Fourth line shift. Let's let's just come back with a fourth line shift. Why not? I haven't used the fourth line much in uh, in this game, but you know what? I feel like now that the game is in full shutdown mode and just just close out the game type of moment, I feel like now is the time to start using our fourth line here. Here we go up the ice. Shoot that, please. Oh, I thought that was a good lane. We'll see if. Oh no 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 no. That's okay. That's okay. It is no matter. It is no matter. We can poke the puck away. No, we cannot. The Habs still have it. They try for the cross crease. But it's going to be stopped. Montreal needs to get a goal here pretty soon if they want to make a game out of this. If not, the Caps are just going to run into the night with the... Oh my goodness, please stop. Please stop making the worst passes. I know I'm Ovechkin and I want the puck, but you don't got to turn it over to try to get it to me. Especially in a game that we're in the closing stages of. Like, you can't be... You can't be forcing passes up there. Oh man, that's a great play. But of course, AI doesn't play with speed. That's just kind of what they what they don't do, I guess. But Hoffman, no, 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 no. You're not. Oh my goodness, he's gonna get the puck back. No, he's not. Yes, he is. But this shot is gonna go wide. Montreal's got an empty net, and we are in full locker down mode. Connor McMichael, we have the fourth line out there because everybody else is tired. So hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. Six on five. We intercept it. Are we gonna? Oh, we can't put it away. Oh, come on, bro. You need to. You need to shoot that at the very least towards the net. Okay, it can't get blocked if you're gonna make that play. If uh, if it is gonna get blocked, then you dump it in. You know, it's it's that simple. But we are trying to cover the middle of the ice here probably the uh, one of the most complete games that you could possibly have here for the capitals this was a very good first game can we get out of our zone if we can it is ggs oh it's probably still ggs there's not a whole lot of time here montreal gonna run out of clock as we play some keep away and the washington capitals have a one game series lead in the first round just a beautiful performance out of the Capitals in the first game. And let's see if we can sort of replicate that here in game two. Still in Washington. First period of play. No goals. We're playing we're playing the Habs. You know, it is what it is. Second period. And it's a one-to-one -one score with Alex Ovechkin getting on the scoreboard for the Capitals once again. And boom, a second goal as Washington takes a 2-1 lead in the third period of game two. We'll see if we can take a two to nothing series lead. That would be fantastic. And then at that point, if we just win, you know, it's going to be a basically must win for the Habs as Ovechkin scores again on the power play this time. That is a fantastic start to the series for the Capitals. But hold on, the Habs aren't done. 
Yes, they are. 3-2-W in Game 2. Who were the three stars? I'm guessing OV. Yeah, Ovechkin with the first star of the evening. Samsonov stopping 32 shots. That's just, let's go. Let's go. Beautiful. Now, Game 3, we're going back in Montreal. Hopefully, the same story can happen here. If we can just play good 200-foot hockey and take care of our chances. 3-2. That is an explosion of offense in the first period. We need to calm her down, but at the same time, we need to open up to get that goal back. So, I don't know. After 2, it's 5-4. An absolute cacophony of no defense is happening here. And we're going to slow sim to third period. Actually, we're going to jump in there. Screw it. Oh, sweet. We're getting on the... I didn't even notice this, but we are killing a penalty as we join the action here. So hopefully my defensive work can be somewhat decent. And then we can go back to offense and focus on net for the tying of the hockey game. Okay? Now... So far, not a bad, ooh, not a bad PK, but that was a hard shot from Shea Weber, of course. He's their big bomb at the point. We can't forget about him. Give me this, give me this. Yep, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Throw that in to the opposite end. Beautiful stuff. Make them skate 200 feet once again. Unfortunately, though, they get the puck back. They might get a shot here. Oh, no, that's... Ooh, they do, they do. But our boy Sam Sonov with a huge save, despite the fact that he's allowed way too many damn goals. Oh, hold on. Shorthand opportunity. But that is Carey Price. He's back in the cage. The rebound almost finding its way in there. Oh, get out, get out, please. Oh, it didn't get out. Boys. Oh, the tip. Nice save. Sam Sonov. Let's go. We are very close to this. Oh, that is a huge drop pass, and it squeaks through. Montreal takes a two-goal lead. Oh, we need a save there. We need Sam Sonov to stop that. Habs kind of dominating here. They know that this is a must-win for them. They cannot afford to lose this game, but we might get a bit of a three-on-two here. That's a good chance, and it's going to be stopped. Okay, into the corner. What timer? Another save, but the first line is all the way energized. They haven't been on the ice basically since we took a penalty in the third period. So Ovechkin fully energized. Let's just win this face off, get a clapper in there, potentially maybe a, a worse Ovechkin. Hello? Oh, yeah. Matt Irwin is on the forwards. Oh, no. We were so healthy. This is Ovechkin mode. So, I mean, we're going we're gonna to simulate to the end of the game here. That is really sad. Most likely take an L. Yes, we did. Uh, it was a pretty bad one, too. We got we got absolutely shelled. Is Alex Ovechkin done? Man, that sucks. He has three goals in two games. Oh, so he did miss the entirety of game three. Please be back, Ovi. Oh, no, he's not. He is hurt, hurt, along with Ryan Murray. Is that the end of our season? No. I want a challenge for a Stanley Cup. Please, gentlemen. Oh, we lost again. <laughs> Ovechkin, please come back. Please come back. I can't play. It's it's an Ovechkin career mode. So, you know, I can't really play the games if Ovi's not back. And Ovi's not back. Oh, man. We also lost game five. Is Ovechkin back in the lineup? Please tell me that we can play game six. If not, it could be a very, very quick exit. Ovechkin is back in the lineup for game six, and he is going to be angry. Man, real quick, this series went from, it looks like we might dominate the Canadians to we might be going home early. That's what happens in the playoffs, man. Ovechkin, here we are, game six at the Bell Center. We need to find a way to win this one. We're not going to be at full health or full attributes because we're not healthy. Oh, and it gets right through me? I don't care what my attributes are. That pass should not get through me. Samsonov also needs to get better here. Oh, John Carlson with a bad turnover. Montreal's coming in. Shea Weber, he's going to move it to his forwards. I wish uh, my defenseman do that. Oh, what a save. Okay, Samsonov. Okay, Samsonov. I see you, bro. That is a huge play. We're going to rifle that up to our line. Mats Kuzi feeds it to Oshi. Oshi with the dangles back to Ovechkin. And he's going to whistle one wide of the net. That looked like we might be able to score off of a play that we created. We're definitely going to need to hit the net here against uh carry price all right we can't we can't be too too picky we got to take as many shots as we possibly can at the montreal goaltender here that's just how you do it we're gonna go far side though oh i tried to get that pass 
I try to see if we can get that cross ice pass and we're going to just retire to the bench here because we want to keep Ovechkin pretty pretty much energized as much as we can. Let's just let's just oh I tried to drag shoot it doesn't work cuz I mean I, I this is not the highest skilled player in the world. Tom Wilson with it. Got that third line shift out there. They're going to dump it in. Montreal's getting shut down here when they try to get in transition, but so are we. You know, it's kind of a it's kind of both teams here playing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're going to move this up the ice. Oh, we do not have the speed for this. Oh, oh, yes, we do. The backhander scores. It didn't look like I, I guess he ran out of stamina. The defenseman, I don't know what happened, but Daniel Sprong is going to get a huge goal to give us the lead here in game six. Daniel Sprong with a massive playoff goal here. We needed that first one, and we got it. We're going to get a second chance. We're going to slap it. Just a clobbering shot on net. But Carey finds that one. He, he made it a little, you know, it made it look like he might not have had it, but he did. Going to do the same thing again with a D-zone face-off with the first line mostly fully energized. So we'll see if we can get her done. Oh, Vetchkin, I'm trying. I tried to throw that in a little bit further so that he couldn't hit me, but it didn't work. Oh, that might turn into a three-on-one or a two-on-one, something like that. That's a drop. That's a spin move, but we don't have enough room to complete the spin move appropriately. And that is, uh, that's going to, you know what, we're Ovechkin. Yeah, yeah, we got to attack here. Oh, man, that poke check, good hit. Both teams kind of kind of playing low event here, which is not the way that the first couple games have gone. Oh, drop this, please. Please drop this. Yes, sir. Far side scores. Alex Ovechkin, 2 nothing caps. I mean, I remember, I think it was like 2008 or 9, 10, one, one of those years, okay, like late 2000s watching the Canadians play the Washington Capitals, and I was pulling so hard for Ovechkin. I think it was the same series where Ovechkin made that ridiculous play where he, like, bounced it off of the sidewall and then spun off the defender without the puck and then grabbed it on the other side and then went in on, on I assume, Carey Price and, and roofed it. That was just a beautiful goal. I think that's the, the series that I'm, I'm referring to. And it was a really good series, but ultimately Montreal ended up winning the series, which made it instantly less good. You know, it's it just definitely not as fun whenever the Habs win anything. I should have made that pass, by the way, but we're not going to talk about it. But we're going to go down low and see if we can cycle and recycle. E yeah, I didn't I didn't mean to grab that on that angle. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, we almost got it. Almost on the breakout. I knew he was making that pass, but that's the end of the first period. And the Caps have the lead. Second period, OV, big dog. What you gonna do? We're gonna win the faceoff, first of all. I'm gonna drop to the point. Oh my god, stop. Stop trying to force feed me the puck and then turn it puck over. Oh yeah, we're, we're screening, we're screening. Come on, shoot it. Nobody's gonna even try to get the puck towards the net, really, really. Oh, hold on now. We might get a chance if we can get loose. We kind of do, but the passing lane wasn't there. I'm not even that mad about it. Like I said, I don't want you to force passes because I'm Ovechkin. I want you to make the appropriate passes. That is a huge pass, though. That was a very long one. Can we... Oh, boy. What a shitty pickup angle. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's a interesting, interesting drop pass. I'm not... I wasn't expecting that, but we're going to dive in and score! Not an Ovechkin goal, but I believe that is Daniel Sprong, and we will absolutely take it on a beautiful dish. That was a very smart drop pass, opened me right up, and we were able to dive through the crease, and not much Carey Price can do about that. If you're going to let that kind of opportunity happen, your goaltender is going to have a rough time. I think this might be GG's for the game here. I, I think uh, with the lead that we have, going to go far side? Oh, if I stopped that, mm, or if I scored that. But Carey Price is going to stop it. But yeah, I think this is GG's for game three or game six. And you know what? If uh, if the team can't shut this down. Yeah, you see, we've outplayed the hell out of them. We're going to let the game just figure out the rest, simulate the rest of the game. And let's get to game seven because we were just, we came out throttling. Okay, we murdered the Habs in game six. And yes, game seven it is.